and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you my completed pictures for the month of June, which is not very many because I just did not get many done this month, which is absolutely fine. So it'll be a sh slightly shorter video than it would normally be. So I'm going to just get started. I did a picture from Die Welt under, the, under Unter die Lupe Zulande by Rita Berman. Um, I'm just going to zoom in a tiny little bit because this is a smaller book. I did this picture in the book, um, the one with some flowers and butterflies, and yes, it does have stickles, and it also has some, um, the pen, Pentel dual metallic hybrid pens as well. So for this one, um, I used some, I think I may have used... The Arteza pencils, I think. I think I use Arteza pencils for the pencil work. Um, and then I also got the Jane Davenport uh, palette pastel set. And that is what all this pink and blue is. I used that. And I think I did put a little bit of the shimmer. I did use some of the shimmery bits. You can kind of see that it's like a little bit shim shimmery just like here. Um, but obviously it doesn't show up very well. But that was quite cool. So that's the, that one. Um, I finally decided to come back to Game of Thrones and do one in here. So I just did one at the front. I did the next shield one. And I used my new watercolour paints that I got for this one. Um, the Rembrandt watercolour paints. I did also use some watercolour pencils, I think. Or did I? I think I used some watercolour pencils to do this bit. Some Caran d'Ache super colours just to do the banner. And then um, I did add a little bit of pencil on top of just the red here, I think. Although actually that could just be paint. No, I think that is just paint. I feel like I used pencil, but maybe I didn't. <laughs> maybe it's just me. Um, uh, but yeah, I think I just used a little bit of super colour just to... Because sometimes I don't have... Like I would have to mix a little bit to get a bit darker. And, you know, I just thought it might, might be kind of nice to just use you know used to use the watercolor pencils to go on top instead sometimes um just to you know change it up a little bit and i use some fine tech or clearo water metallic paint to do the um like i don't know this filigree stuff and obviously you know you can see it shining now it's shining i couldn't get it to shine before so that is this picture in game of thrones done um so it didn't take too long to do and it was quite fun um, I don't. I feel like those banner shield things. There's nothing interesting much you can do with them. Um, this is actually a fairly new book. I got Disney portraits. Uh, it's been around for a while. I just finally decided to get it, and it was out of stock when I wanted to get it. And now it's back in stock. So I have done two in this one. Um, I did Basil the Great Mouse Detective, and that actually was the last picture I did. I used whole buying colour pencils for this one, and I used some acrylic paint. I'm a bit annoyed though because this acrylic paint I use is this Deco creme one um and i've got some other colors and they like they cover really well like i've only had to use one um coat and actually it does say that you only like one coat one coat but this one was not very opaque and i'm just a little bit annoyed about it i don't think it says that it's not super opaque on here sometimes they give you like a little patch to say oh it's not super opaque but this i was just a bit annoyed i did do a few layers and I was just a bit like, oh, <laughs> you know, why is this one not coming? Um, and then I did do another one here, which is the genie from Aladdin. So again, I used Holbein's as well on this one. And I did use some of the Pentel um, dual hybrid um, pen just to outline all this pattern. And I did use some Calero or Fine Tech paint for the frame, which I think looks pretty cool like this. Um, Yes, so I very much enjoyed doing my genie. I did base the genie with some super colour soft first, just like to give it a kind of wash underneath because it's such a big thing to colour. I just thought it wouldn't be easier if I put like a watercolour base foot down first, like just a light one, so it was easier to sort of colour over the top. Um, and then the last last picture I done, I have done for the month. Um, this took me almost two weeks because i decided to do a double page spread from fairly fairy celebrations Clara makeover's book um i've decided you know if i see a double page spread that i'd like to do i'm just going to do it 
I have been reluctant to do them in the past because they do take a very, very, very long time to do. Um, and then sometimes they just scared me a little bit, but most of the time it was just because I didn't, you know, it was a long time. Um, so I'm going to show you that. So that is one of the reasons why I have not done so many pictures this month, because this one took me forever to do. <laughs> but I am really happy with how it turned out, though, because at first, before I had done the background and added some detail onto things, I wasn't super happy with it. Um, I'm not happy with the colours I chose for this thing, so I changed the colours on this side, so I prefer those ones. But, you know, it doesn't matter too much, it's just a small bit of detail. Um... But I actually really loved this side of the page when I was colouring it. Like, I thought, oh, I really like this. I think this is turning out nice. But for some reason, I wasn't so happy. I wasn't super happy with this ice cream. But then I added a bit more shadow on it. And then, obviously, once it was outlined, now I am really happy with it. So, um, yeah. And also, I just some of it, I just could not, for the, my, the life of me, think of what colours to do, this little dude. So I left that little fairy thing for ages but then because I did the butterfly these colours I thought oh I could use them for these wrappers and then I thought maybe it's best I use those for the the fairy as well so I did so that way it's kind of like more cohesive because it's similar colours and it's not going too crazy with a million different colours because obviously we've got these pinks here and they kind of go with the pomegranates um there a little bit so it's not too bad so um I really did enjoy doing this one even though it took forever <laughs> I am quite pleased, especially with how it turned out. So I used the Derwent drawing pencils. No, they're not drawing. I keep saying drawing. They're not the drawing pencils. I used the Derwent Lightfast, the Lightfast pencils. So I used them for like the grass here, the waffle cone. I think I used them for this plant here and for this, the wooden thing here. So, um, but I also used some Prismacolor pencils, which I used for these bits here. And also, I think I used the light fast for this as well, the pomegranate, and also this little fairy here. And I also used some holbeins as well. So I used some holbeins on the leaves. I used some holbeins on, I think, this outfit of this guy. <laughs> um, Prisma colours I know I definitely use for this leaf thing here. I did use a couple of Prisma colours with holbeins as well, and the draw Derwent light fast pencil. So some of them have got maybe one colour that is the the Prisma colour with it so I kind of enjoyed mixing the three different pencils brands together um so I have got a tiny little bit of spot um stickles um oh, sorry guys I've got a little bit on the fairies like outfit and I have also outlined stuff in white gel pen as well um where else have I got some stickles oh, on the butterfly and then on this like scarfy thing there's some there um I think that's all the places oh yeah and this and their little hats and this the sweet wrapper, the little um, flowers and the little things on their hats there. <laughs> so there's not tons of stickles on it. I just did like a little bit just to add a little bit. Um, but yeah, that's basically all of my completed pages. So it was a very short video. Um, I don't know. I don't know how many I'll end up doing next month. We will see because obviously, again, if I do a double page spread, it could take me a long time. So um i would like to do a few more next for next month but again as i said i'll have to see and i will i've only got two well i've got two and a half weeks worth of because i got the rest of this week left but i got then i got two more weeks and then it's the summer holidays so then i should have a little bit more time to do a little bit more so towards the end of july i have a little bit more time to do a couple so anywho um it is that there is a possibility that july's completed pictures video will be a bit later in the month because potentially I might be going to Rhodes and I won't get back till the 5th of August but um with the virus and things I'm not 100% sure if I'll be able to go but fingers crossed I'll get to Greece so because <laughs> it'd be really nice I'd like to go on a summer holiday so um that video might be a bit later if I happen to be at Greece because I will not obviously take all my completed pictures with me um, so anywho, I hope everybody is safe and they're happy and healthy um, and that you're enjoying any of the hobbies you're doing, regardless of their colouring or not. And I will see you soon. So bye.